you know, most newbies, when they, they learn about freelancing, they see, you know, the benefits and then, um, you know, you can work from home, you can earn a lot of money and then they think it's easy, but then they, they try it out um, and they realize it's hard, right? They realize that you have to learn, you have to study, you have to put in a lot of effort. And most newbies, when they get started, they complain about how hard freelancing is. They think that, you know, um, I just want to work. Why do I have to learn new skills? Why do I have to apply on these different job platforms? And what a lot of people who are new to freelancing do is they see others who are successful, right? They see, well, they see myself, they see people like, uh, John Pagulayan or uh, Mike Kubos or uh, Ali Basag, some people I've interviewed, and they see these people earn like 50,000, 100,000, or 400,000 every single month, and they think, hey, it must be easy. These guys were able to do it. It must be easy. And then they think that they can do it too, right? But they try it out, right? They try it. And maybe you've gone through this. Maybe you're going through this right now. You know, you're trying it out and it, you realize that it's hard. You struggle. And the, the thing is, most newbies at this point are going to give up. They're going to think, you know what, this is harder than I thought. It's not worth it. It's not worth earning hundreds of thousands every month to go through all of this trouble, through all of this stress. And that's what, that's what a lot of people think. And they're going to give up in the first six months. But let me tell you one thing. I want to tell you that anything worth having is worth fighting for. I'm going to repeat that. Anything worth having is worth fighting for. You know, you've seen what being successful in freelancing means. You've seen um, myself. You've seen you've seen a lot of successful freelancers, right? If, if not, you can look at the interviews I've done. I can, you know, my own story, like right now, I travel a lot, you know, I'm, I'm able to travel the world while freelancing, while earning a lot of money freelancing. Others, there are, you know, parents who can stay at home with their kids, take care of their kids while working. OFWs who can earn in dollars, used, you know, they, they used to have to fly to Saudi Arabia or the US to earn for their families, and now they can earn while they're in the Philippines. You've seen what being successful in freelancing means. And many, think, many people think it's easy, right? They think that, like I said, if others can do it, they can too. And like I said, people are just gonna give up. So many people, 90% of the people who try freelancing are going to give up. But I don't want you to give up. I want you to realize that, once again, anything worth having is worth fighting for it's hard you know it's hard it's hard to struggle especially the first six months the first year it's very hard you've heard the stories um john spent around six months without and before get before getting hired mike also spent around six months before getting hired but now they're very successful so if you're going through if you're going through difficulties if you feel like giving up i want to tell you don't give up. Don't be like 90% of the people and realize that if you want to get these benefits, if you want to get the rewards, you have to fight for it. You have to really keep pushing and remember, you can, you can write this down, you can write this quote down, anything worth having is worth fighting for. Okay, so I want to ask you guys, what's the benefit, what's the number one Benefit, benefit of freelancing that you want to be able to receive okay and, and just type in the comments below okay flippers just keep pushing i'll talk to you later